and welcome back, modelers, to another exciting and oh-so-informative episode of Matt's Model Shop. Here we are with our uh, 1350 Enterprise refit, and what I've done is I've mocked up the top and one of the sides here with one of the pylons on it, uh, because I want to show you the other gotcha on the secondary hull, which is that gap right there. There's also some of it on the front, but the back is the worst. And it's like nothing you do can get rid of it. A lot of people just filled it and and uh, called it a day. But um, a while back, one of our friends on Sci-Fi Model Action, Daniel Klein, figured out that if you just removed a little bit of plastic here and here on the inside of the of the uh, attachments where where the pylons attach. If you just take off a little bit of that plastic, it allows everything to collapse down and seat perfectly, and that gap disappears. So I'm going to do that on this one. This is one of the biggest problem areas on the whole thing, is this little tiny change here. That fixes the whole thing. So um, I'm gonna go do that, and when I come back, I'll show you the, the change and how that, how that fixed it. It's pretty amazing when you see it. It just slides right together, no problem. So I will show you that in just a moment. And there we go. So that's actually been shaved down on the inside uh, where it attaches. And now that gap is very nearly gone. You sort of have to hold it together now because it removes the kind of snap togetherness of it. But since you're gluing it anyway, it doesn't really matter. You also on the front, the front it removes the gap as well. <laughs> Of course, I'm holding it together so it's not showing very well, but yeah, you get the idea. Once once it's all glued together, you can actually glue that gap shut and then sand it down and fill it, and it actually pretty much goes away. So it's not nearly as terrible as before, but um, yeah, all you have to do... They didn't basically give enough room for the pylons inside. That's why they, that's why that, that gap is there in the first place, so... Once you get it in there, once you get everything in there and get get that shaved away and get it all snapped in, it uh, turns out really good. So um, now that I've kind of gone over that, I'm going to start assembling this thing a little bit. One of the gotchas that I found with light blocking the inside is if you don't light block before you attach the pylon right here, you actually get a really bad light bleed right here. Um, so I have to figure out how to do that, especially underneath where the pylon fits on, right in here. It bleeds really bad. So I think I'm gonna mask a little bit here where where I want the plastic to really weld, and I'm gonna mask these tabs, but I think I'm gonna light block the rest of it like crazy. So I'll figure that out when I get there. But now that we're here, we'll, we'll uh, glue together. I think I'm gonna glue the sides on the on the bottom of the secondary hull and then light block it all on the inside, paint it black then white and then we'll um, start to light it and um, once I've got all that in then I'll start putting the pylons on and we'll kind of go from there but it, one of the hard parts about this kit is you sort of have to plan it as you go. You go okay I do this then I do that so that you're sure to get everything in it that you want so um, but that's the that's the next part is getting this assembled and lit, um, which shouldn't be too terribly bad, I don't think. So So anyway, I will be back once I get some of that done and we'll we'll kind of show our progress as we go. So hang on tight. Okay, everyone, we're still working on the secondary hull and I kind of mocked up part of it. I've glued together the sides and the um, tail and then I kind of just stuck on the top and the and the pylons just to kind of give an idea of what it will how it'll look and as you can see it's big <laughs> it's a big ship but um take this apart i'm gonna i'm gonna um let everyone know here a couple of bits that are a little tricky when putting these together is the sides of the ship tend to kind of bow slightly so you get a little bit of a high-low at the seam on both sides. So make sure to kind of watch for that and try to minimize that as much as possible. Um, I kind of held it 
uh, while I was gluing it, I held it in place for a while to make sure that it it uh, didn't <laughs> it didn't have a huge you know bump there. Also, this rear tail, you've got to watch it in about three places while you put it together down here and then on the sides um, to make sure that it, it lines up with the sides as well as as the uh, bottom. This one actually went on pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then um, I've been working on getting the the uh, putty work done on the on the windows, and as you can see, they still have a little ways to go. This is only with one shot so far of putty and primer, just to see all of all of the sins, and there are many sins. So I'm going to keep working at it. But there's the other side. The other side's a little bit better so far, but a uh, couple more a couple more passes with those on on the putty and and sanding, and it's going to look really nice. So. I'm really happy with how those have turned out. These photo etch window frames are excellent. So the the photo etch set is definitely worth the the extra, what is it, $30 or so, $33. <clears throat> definitely worth the money. So um, I highly recommend getting it just to just to um, you know add a little bit of shine to the to the kit. So um, that's where I'm at right now. So uh, my next piece is while I, you know, take care of these windows, I also need to light block the interior here, which again, I'm, I'm kind of weird about it, but I tend to mask off all the seams and I'm also going to mask, um, the inside right here. So the pylons have something to bite onto. Um, and I'll, I'll mask the, the little tabs that the pylons go onto as well. But, um, once I've got all that done, um, then I'll start adding lighting. So we'll, uh, We'll get get moving here. Once um, once the lighting has been added and added to the top, you put a kind of a a, a bit of LED tape down down the center of the top to light up the the shuttle bay once it's in. So, but once we've done all that, then then um, we'll start worrying about wiring up the pylons and up the neck. So, and we'll get the neck out and kind of work on that as well. So, this kind of all has to go together as one module, the, the secondary hull is sort of a, a big piece of it. So once we get it all assembled, um, and, and everything, everything should start taking shape pretty nice. So, um, I'll be right back as, um, as soon as I've made a little bit more progress and, uh, I'll kind of, kind of, uh, allow you to keep tabs on what's going on here. So I'll be right back. And we're back, and I've uh, done a whole bunch of light blocking and and uh, priming and sanding and puttying and more light blocking and more more priming and on and on and on. And we're to a point now where it's actually starting to look pretty decent. So I put these in just for effect because, you know, hey, it's starting to look like ship shape and all that. But um, really, if we take these off here... I used that cheap um, 99 cent spray paint and primer and so it cracked inside again, of course, but um, you don't have to use that. I just didn't have anything on hand. Next time I'm going to spend a little more money and get the real the real deal, but the um, windows are starting to look pretty good. I got a little bit of the brass actually showing through on that one. That's funny. Um, but yeah, they're starting to look like part of the, part of the secondary hull, which is what we want. Let's do, check out the other side. Yeah, it's starting to get get pretty close there. So that's kind of how we want it to look. We want it to to blend in like it's part of the ship. So um, yeah, it's starting to starting to look pretty decent. So um, since it is almost time for me to put out another video, I'm going to put out another video. And on the next one, I'm going to add lighting to this and prep the uh, pylons for wiring. And we'll start getting this thing all lit up and ready to roll for um, for the next phase of this thing. So I'm also going to cut out this this mount here or this um, pin here, mounting pin, um, to in order to slide the shuttle bay and arboretum in. And that does work. I did it with the last one I did, and it worked out really well. So um, and we'll be able to we'll be able to mount it so that it's it slides right in and eliminates this this uh, gap back here so should be pretty cool so I did mask off every single um, glue point on this all the way around the front here and and everything else 
um, and all the pins and things inside so that um, there anything that I glue on I can use um, styrene glue and it'll it'll solidly glue it together so um, all in all it's starting to look pretty decent I'm, I'm really happy with how this one's turning out so considering I'm I'm basically just building it out of the box with photo etch and minimal lighting it's turning out to be a pretty good one so I'm I'm really happy with it so we'll we will um, continue this uh, next time and and uh, we'll see how far we can get on the next video I'm I'm sub I'm guessing um, pretty far so um, anyway take care and and uh, happy modeling and see you next time hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching yeah.